let's learn how this system works overall. So Panther is used to centralize and normalize all of this security data that you care about as a practitioner and provides you a platform to analyze and detect for these malicious behaviors. This normalized and structured data is also persisted to a data lake, which is just a fancy way of saying S3 with some additional metadata on top of it. The benefit of this structure is that all the data is fully grouped, indexed, and queryable with SQL out of the box with no extra work required. And you also get the benefit of real-time analysis and getting really quick signal when badness is happening. So let's dive into this pipeline in a little bit more depth. This detection process starts with the creation of a log from a tool like OS Query, CloudTrail, Suricata, Syslog, or anything else you have set up in your environment. These applications give really helpful context from a specific layer like the network or the cloud. To get this data into Panther, we pass it along to a cloud service like S3 or SQS. And you can also use log aggregation tools like FluentD and Logstash to bridge the gap between virtual machines, on-prem systems, or things that don't live natively in the cloud. Then once it's in one of these systems, you can onboard this data into Panther for processing. This setup uh, through our UI includes all of the permissions necessary to read the data and gives you, the user, some configurations that you can deploy in your environment as code to replicate this in a lot of different ways. Uh, Panther Enterprise also actually includes the ability to read directly from APIs like Okta, G Suite, and Box, which have a lot of security value. Um, and we're constantly adding more to this list. So from here, Panther will normalize and parse your logs. And this is a really important step because we need to convert the raw data into a structure that enables us to write rules and then store structured data into our data lake. And it looks a little bit like this. So for example, let's look at this S3 access log, which is essentially an HTTP style log on our S3 buckets. That'll tell us who's accessing our data, when, and then some metadata around that access. So we go from this raw sort of ugly format to a nicely parsed JSON log. And you'll also notice on the bottom, we see some fields that are prefixed with P underscore. And these are fields that we add, Panther adds to the system, that include metadata, like the event time, the time that Panther actually parsed the event, and then other fields around indicators of compromise, uh, like IPs, domains, hashes, that allow you to really quickly query the uh, entire corpus of your logs or write real-time rules um, to detect a potential breach. So after this normalization process is complete, which can take a couple milliseconds, Data is analyzed in real time with Python and simultaneously loaded into a specific table in our data lake, depending on its classified log type. So in the example I just gave, it would go into a table called S3 server access logs. Um, and then if our rules find a match, we send alerts out to our team who can then use SQL to analyze the uh, stored data in our data lake and get more additional context on what's happened. You can also use this to look backwards in time even further to see, did we actually see this in the past and just didn't know about it? Uh, this real-time approach is a little bit different from what you're probably used to in tools like Splunk and Elastic, which require data to be indexed first before searching. Panther does this analysis in real time as it's actually coming across the pipeline. 